the rough air behind Michael Andretti. Comes low. This is where he got Rick Mears, and this is where he will get Michael Andretti as Roberto Guerrero is back in the lead. And our boy from Columbia, South America, is really on the move. He's really quick today, Paul. Roberto Guerrero out in front once again. Michael Andretti and Rick Mears now begin a fight for second place as Guerrero begins to separate himself from that battle for second. In the Penske pits, they still work on Danny Sullivan's car. A little turbocharger fire. That's not a real problem at all, but with the bonnet off, obviously there is a real problem. Bobby Rahal, Emerson Fittipaldi. The battle here between the number three car and the 20 car is for fourth place as the number two machine of Roberto Guerrero still out in front, and Guerrero is pulling away from second place. As he spins, Guerrero loses it up into the wall, a flash of an oil fire, and Guerrero in the lead is out of the race, and he is unconscious. Look at that. He's slumped over in the car. Oh, that was an instant spin. That was something that he had no warning of. I don't know what he hit, but absolutely it was instantaneous. Here it is again. Could there be something on the track, Bobby? Paul, there is. I just saw there's a streak of oil. Watch him here. Watch. Right here he hits the oil and just lets go. He had no warning. The track is new pavement. You can't even see the stripe of oil. A little shower of blue smoke indicated that a car in front of him, identified as the number 61 car of Ari Leyendijk, apparently has something let go. He hit that wall really hard, Paul. He hit it at an angle where it must have knocked his head right against the uh, fiberglass on the cowling there. Well, Steve Edwards, the kart safety director, Dr. Steve Alvey, they're working with him now as Rick Mears, who is now the leader, comes into the pits. Peter Parrott checks the front of the car. There is the car of Bobby Rahal in as well. Remember, Paul, first in, first out. So every time there's a yellow, all the fast cars come in immediately as soon as they can. Allinger Sr., that Chevrolet-powered machine, as Bobby Rahal lights it up, coming out of the pits and roars back. Onto the course under the yellow flag, the yellow out for Roberto Guerrero. Remember, this is.